It's getting more and more beautiful outside. Spring is getting more confident and it's not just some tiny little hint in the background anymore. Nature is changing at a fast pace now. It's impossible for us to just stay at home and not to take a look at everything that's going on around us. It's relaxing to breathe the fresh spring air. There is so much to discover every day, so much to enjoy, and that's why we go for walks quite often now. And now we are in the forest. Again, yeah. our second hike of the day. <laughs> second walk of the day, because we love to be in nature, of course. Yeah. And it's so pretty today. It's a nice surprise. I predicted a nice weather, of course, <laughs> but not as nice as it is. So it's warm and I love it. So that's why we are in the forest again and we are going to enjoy this because it should get colder and more cloudy again in the coming yeah, days. So of course. Yeah. So we need to soak this in. Soaking. Yeah, the forest is not very pretty <laughs> here. It looks dry and Sorry. It's empty. <laughs> but we'll show you some pretty places and pretty things. Look guys, a snake, non-venomous. It's tanning, because it's very warm today. We are in the valley now, it's getting totally greener and it's so fresh here, I really like it. And you can listen to the sound of nature. It's great for resetting your brain, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. The stream is bubbling there or what is it doing? We would say zbonka, potok zbonka. It's streaming. It's streaming. <laughs> and the birds chirping, a bit of wind in the tree. Oh. It's relaxing. Guys, I think you call these bluebells. I don't know if it's accurate. For us, this is longer. You know from lungs, when you make tea out of this, it should be good for your lungs, I guess. I don't know, we haven't tried it. And they are so pretty because at first they start pink and then the color changes to violet and blue. It's so interesting. And I remember as a kid, I loved those ones in the <laughs> forest because of the colors. So there was gayness hidden in me somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so I like these ones. These are spring forest flowers. But I don't think they are bluebells. I think it's a different kind, right? I saw a video on YouTube and someone was saying that these are bluebells and it looked like this. Uh -huh. So I don't know, maybe it's something else, but yeah, it's nice. So it's this. <laughs> It's getting a little chilly as it's close to evening and you know being in a valley at the beginning of spring. So, ah, the sun is back finally. <laughs> is it better now? Much. <laughs> but we'll have to return soon. Yeah. Look at the ponds. They are new in this valley. It's like a protection against floods and stuff like that, right? 
Uh-huh, something like that. Retention reservoirs or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice that they are changing the valley this way and it looks prettier and it's also useful. These ones, these blue flowers, are called liver, liver, <laughs> liver, liver, you know, the organ. <laughs> <laughs> they are called liver the organ. <laughs> So, <laughs> guys, English is hard. English is fun. But I think they used to be more violet. Now they are kind of bluish. Mm -hmm. so Those ones on that side look more violet to me from here at least. Yeah, they are a bit more colorful, but something is happening to these ones. Maybe they are old already and they are losing color. I'm not sure. But they are still pretty. And we are in the fields. It's warm again and it's warm. <laughs> so we are not cold anymore. Yeah, I feel much better now. Yeah, so we are almost home. This was a very nice walk. I liked it. Guys, I love my hair today, so we have to film, because this is amazing. <laughs> Usually my hair looks terrible, so this is a rare moment and we have to capture this. We got some precipitation lately and it's getting more green. Not just because of the precipitation, but as the year progresses, of course, it's getting greener and you can see flowers more of them popping up like these <laughs> dandelions i called them dandelions last year but i was corrected these are pronounced dandelions right mm -hmm. and these ones we call them seven beauties they are daisies in yep. english okay daisies and these violet little ones i don't know what that is but yeah, it's getting prettier. And here, look, these violets, but colorful violets, they just appeared on our balcony in the city, just out of nowhere, and in our pots, you know, and it's so interesting that they just flew in or something. So we would like to transplant them here on the property and they are prettier than normal violets, so I love them. They are a slightly different kind. Yeah. So, this and chives are growing, so I'm very happy about that, because I love chives, so that's very nice. Finally, our trees are blossoming as well. Here's our cherry tree which we saw blossoming for the first time last year. So hopefully we will have some fruits this year as well. And the green gauge tree is back as well this year, which is amazing. So it looks like this year the harvest will be bound to go lava. So it looks like this year the harvest could be bountiful again. Yeah, could be. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. It smells so nice in spring. Mm -hmm. The last tree which we need to prune is this mulberry tree. It was so tiny when we planted it, it was about yay high <laughs> and it grew so much in two years. But you can see it's a complete mess. We've never pruned it before and you can see there are so many branches right at the bottom. So we need to get rid of those because 
it will grow to be very wide and very tall and it would take a big chunk of our property we couldn't walk around it probably. yeah exactly so we need to do something with this we need to get it under control the problem is that because it's so messy i don't know what we want to keep so i'll just start somewhere and then we'll see <laughs> yeah it's up to us how we shape it but sometimes it's hard to decide what to do with it you were thinking of maybe keeping the three main branches those would be the three stems of the tree i guess mm -hmm. and then we'll need to get rid of those uh, side branches which are growing at the bottom and just leave somewhere on top and i think i finally learned the word for what the roosters are doing <laughs> it's cock-a-doodling is it if you say so cock a doodle i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> so i haven't learned that yet maybe next time guys maybe next time but there are more of them and they are now very alive yeah it's fun i'm just rambling about random things because i want to show off my hair <laughs> i love it such a great job by my honeybee i know right yeah you are the best I'm so talented. Oh, talented barber or hair cutter or what is it? I'm going to bring the thingy you spread on the wounds when you cut the branches because some of them are quite big so better be sure there won't be any disease or any damage to the shrub. done here so now it's Peter's turn I am spreading the lovely honey butter or <laughs> whatever this is it always looks so tasty to me yeah I would put it on my bread <laughs> should I cover all of the wounds just the big ones whatever you think should get it you can't make it worse by applying this thing. Only better. It's time. The grass is growing. So I'm about to mow our lawn for the first time this year. We need petrol first. I hope now that the grass is not too tall, it will be faster than during summer, but we'll see. The grass we have in the yard is still very small, but this one here in the field, it's some kind of a fast growing grass which they used for feeding animals. So we need to cut it regularly and we can see how it's transforming. And uh, if we cut it, mow it regularly, there are different kinds of flowers and grass uh, growing here and it will slow down eventually. Yeah. So. Our plan is to weaken the fast-growing grass yeah. and it's happening, so it's the right method and we'll see how it changes over the time. Yeah. So let's go! And while Tommy is mowing the grass, I also have to do something. There is this pile of dry grass. We would like to plant pumpkins there in a few weeks, I think. But it went down quite a lot over the winter. And we have more hay in our barn. So I'm going to bring that and make the pile bigger and taller. So the pumpkins in the future have a great life. There is a lot of hay here in our barn. The previous owners left it here for us. So the hay was already here when we bought the property. And it's very nice because 
we can use it for projects like these. Sometimes this happens. Yeah, it was raining yesterday and the grass is now full of water. Maybe that's why. So if I go too fast, it gets blocked and I have to unclog it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the grass is not wet on the inside, but it's very fresh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's juicy. Juicy, yes. That's a problem. I have to go slower. It's especially bad with alfalfa. That one is the juiciest. Mm -hmm. So I have to go really slow, but this time the grass is not very tall, so I thought this wouldn't happen, but I guess it's because it was raining. Yeah, and there is no alfalfa yet, so no. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. So what's this, honey, this pile? That's a pile of grass. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. We decided we would put it all here. It will be a big pile probably after the end of today, but it will go down later and we will keep piling on, we'll see for how long and maybe next year we could grow our pumpkins here when it becomes a compost or something. Okay guys, I think the pile is big enough now, so let me spread it and that will be it. Ta -da! Job well done on my side. Tommy will be mowing for a few more hours. It takes a lot of time. So in the meantime I found other small things to do, because it's nice to be useful. I have been getting rid of many thistles recently, so here is another one. The property is almost thistle-free now, which I am very happy about, of course. I am sure more of them will grow in the future, but when we won't let them grow big, it should be okay. It's also important to water the new cherry laurels, mainly those which are planted under the trees. They have been growing nicely so far, so hopefully it continues. The mowing is very time-consuming. In the future we plan to mow less, it should be more like a meadow, but for now, like we said, we need to weaken the fast growing grass, so it gets naturally replaced by some normal meadowy varieties. It's almost evening and Tommy is still mowing. It takes a lot of time, but it looks great, very small. much easier to skip here now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The conditions are ideal. And this is all the mowed grass. So much of it. Do you want to jump into it? I should want to, but <laughs> I don't really want to because it's cold. It went from sunny to overcast in the afternoon, so the conditions are not ideal. And when I am cold, I don't feel like jumping into freshly mowed grass. Weird. <laughs> but at least the sky is a bit pretty now. Uh-huh. Like there is at least like 5% of prettiness in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so excited about this. Always the first mowing of the season <laughs> is the most exciting. And it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy. Yeah, and in two weeks we can do it all over again. Yes, this will be like a recurring activity <laughs> this year, but we are already used to that, so yeah, that's life in the countryside. <laughs> but how do you feel, honey? I have to say, you are totally amazing. 
I am amazed how persistent you are because you were here for hours. I feel like I spent the whole day here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's true. It took longer than I expected. I thought it would be faster because the grass wasn't that tall, but I guess it was very juicy. So I had to go slow mm -hmm. because the grass got stuck like five or six times oh. in the machine. So yeah. that wasn't fun. Yeah. My back hurts or shoulder a little bit, but I'm used to that. <laughs> it happens every time and I'm cold because I was sitting all the time and I thought it would be warmer, but no. I'm so happy. I don't know, this is like such an achievement. I didn't do much, but my honeybee, the best. Honeybee, the best. <laughs> he is the best. I feel like I have grass everywhere. You do, yeah, <laughs> in your ears. And the shirt is also full of grass. We are both hungry, so we will prepare our go-to meal when we don't feel like cooking, and that's spaghetti. <gasps> really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> because it's very easy, so there is not much cooking mm -hmm. or nothing. You just cook the spaghetti and put a store-bought sauce onto them and cheese. Yum. Yeah, and it's very yummy. And ketchup. <laughs> and ketchup, yeah. A lot of things. The dinner was done in 15 minutes, which was great, even though it's not a very healthy meal, but who cares after a day full of work, right? And we at least used our own sprouts and microgreens, full of vitamins. Give us a like and see you guys next time!